fuck out of my way. Trace, you're too big. Get out of here, Kaz. I'm tr Get out of here, Ken. You're too big. I'll stab you. Get out of the way. Sorry about that, guys. I've got another accessory showcase lined up, and this time I'm doing the Jean Chevalier, as you can see that I've got equipped here. Uh, this request comes in from Deborah Weber. She said, if you're doing requests, I'd like to see the Ninetales ripoff, already done, the QB Fox, or the Jean Rapier. But also, I'm pretty sure Trace Ace and Gose from my guild have also requested that I do this accessory. So three people wanted me, there he is, Trace down there. Three people wanted me to do this accessory as an accessory showcase. And I'm really shit with it and I never really use it because it's very heavily counter based. But the counters are not, they're not, I don't know. Like they just don't work like the Jizumara or the Yumi Migusa. They're very different. It's very like sort of confrontational. It's very, I, I don't know. You have to be facing towards the enemy and stuff. Whereas the other ones are more, I don't know. I, I haven't really ever figured it, figured this accessory out. I think I need to use it a little bit more. I'm a little bit worried about how this showcase is going to go. I'm definitely going to miss some attacks, but we may as well head down to the dojo and I'll do my best. Uh, I've got Kazeru, G Satan, and Ken, or not Kenshiro, Ken with the stars in my party. They're going to be my test dummies. But Kazeru's also got this accessory, so he's going to jump in at any time and let me know if I've missed some shit out. So let's go down now, and I hope I don't fuck this up. Ken's going to be my test dummy for the first few attacks, and he's turned into a goblin. I hope this doesn't affect my damage or anything. Weak combo. So there's quite a lot of hits. Four hits there. There's a weak last attack, which is that. Wow, it's holdable. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four attacks. One, two, three... That's pretty cool. It's sort of like a stab forward. That's nice. The weak last attack. Strong combo. That I've always found confusing. You hop backwards and then slash forward. So you sort of have to like trick the enemy there. How do I... There's a strong last attack as well. But it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to chain on for some reason. Stab. S stab. 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 I, I can't do it. I can't. Why is the strong last attack? Rompers. Oh, that was it. How do I do it? That was it. So I do, I'm finding it difficult. Maybe you have to. You have to get the timing right. So tap, tap. Yeah. So you have to get the timing right. You can't just mash X with this. You have to wait until your character's done the hop, and then you press X and you do that sort of uppercut at the end. Uh, weak jump attack. No blessy kick. I don't see- Why is there so many accessories like this? The QB fox was exactly the same. Wait a second. Fox kick. That's not a fox kick. That's like the normal fighter style. There's nothing special about that. The jump C. There's nothing there. No blessy kick. That is the fucking default fighter kick almost. There's nothing special about that kick. What? There's nothing special. That's just like a normal kick. Strong jump attack. I think this is stabbing down. Yeah. So you stab down at the enemy. There's no there's no holding variation, but you sort of like go in front as well. Yeah. Um, G Satan, do you want to swap out? You can be the test on me now. Let's do this. Weak step attack. Sample pick. Ooh. Oh, okay. So it's sort, of, sort of like... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Weak step attack. So that's the weak step attack. Just sort of like a little stab like that. But the weak dash attack... Is a bigger swipe. Yeah, a bigger swipe with two hits. Like that. There's quite a lot of attacks with this history, but it seems like all sort of the same thing. Like, different variations of the same, like, different kinds of swipes and stuff. Um, uh, strong dash. Noblesse roll. Oh, okay. So that sort of, like, swipes downward and makes them fall over. So that could probably be comboed onto something else, but I don't know exactly what. Weak hold attack. Combo faint. Oh, okay. So this must be a counter. Here we go. If it's not a counter, if the counter doesn't hit, you sort of do that attack. Can you attack me? At attack me? When I'm doing that? Oh, not now! <laughs> Wait until... Okay, now. Like that. Will I, will I counter? Yeah, oh no, so it, it's sort of just like a cool looking stance of some sort, which is required to then do the attack after. It might be a counter, I don't know, but that seems to be what you have to do. 
The stronghold attack is this hop backwards, it seems. Is that also a counter, or is that... Why can't I follow that up with it? That's stupid, and I sort of just like sit there for a while. Oh! So, that must be a variation of the, the strong combo. If I hold down the first attack, and then... Oh, okay. So that was a variation of the, of the strong combo there, with that slash. The actual stronghold is this. Catch the heart. So that's kind of cool. It's sort of like a... You dash forward, you grab them, and then you stab them repeatedly, and knock back. So that's actually quite a good stronghold. A little bit of confusion there, but here we go. We're doing this, the special attacks now. It seems like we've done everything else. Uh, pleased round special attack. So it's going to be a counter. That was the counter. Kazero hit me there. But if the counter doesn't work, you sort of just... You can do that. Like if you... So, oh, okay. So this is what you do. If you hold down the special, you do that. But once it runs out, you do a stab forward like that. But the counter is more effective if we can try and get the counter to hit. Ah, sorry. If the counter hits, I go through him and attack him from behind. But if it doesn't hit, you just do a single slash and then send him flying. So the counter is more effective, but if it doesn't work, it's kind of like the Jizumaru. It does still work to some degree. Uh, the super special attack is a more effective counter. I've hit him more times. I'm doing the stab through the heart, the whole strong attack there. And then there was big knockback at the end. But if I don't get the counter with the super special, it's also the same. So I don't go through him and I don't hit him the other way. I send him directly forward and it still does the stab through the heart and stuff. Uh, jump special attack, not a counter. You dive down and then you dive back up again. So that's pretty standard. I, I don't really like that jump. Jump super special, more hits and like several piercing through him as I come back up there as well. That's kind of a standard um, special, atta uh, special attack, unlike the normal one, which is a counter. Uh, the run special. Ooh. So that seems to be kind of the same as the normal special attack. I wonder if, if I use it like this, if I'm running, is it a counter? Can I hold it down? I'm running. Oh, okay. So it's exactly the same as the normal special attack, but you go from running into a counter like that. So holding down the special button is to do the counter, and just letting go straight away is doing this, the normal special like that. Um, and then the super dash, I think I haven't already done. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same as the normal stand, stand special. That's kind of like the Crimson Agony. The run special and the standing special are exactly the same, but the jump special is a slightly, is a completely different attack altogether. There is a counter attack as well, as it says there, slice reposate. Uh, Kazira is going to show it for me now. I guess it will probably just be like a standard, like, counter attack. Yeah, oh, okay. can we do it? I think it will just be like a normal slash, as they always are. This is why I usually don't show them myself. Yeah, there we go. So it was just, he just slashed me and I fell backwards as a normal counter. Right, well, now that we've shown all the moves, it's time for a segment called Laurie's Review. What is my review of this accessory? It's a gold ball that I always didn't mind wanting, but then when I finally got it, I was like, meh, and I never used it, and I still don't use it. There's too many other gold ball accessories I'd rather use than this one. Um, I've got Assault, which gives me more strength, Metal Jacket, which is the full metal walker inherit, which I think it removes some stuff but gives me de some defense, and Stricken Fan, power, uh, power of attack increases when you're about to die. Okay, so they're pretty random skills on this, but oh well, it seems to work. Um, I don't know, it, it's not a bad accessory, but for a gold ball accessory, I don't know, it, it is good, it's just, it doesn't fit my playstyle. I don't know why this accessory, which is very counter heavy related, is different to the Jizumaru and the Yumi Migusa to me, but regardless, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. But there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know what's... I don't know what I don't like about it. It's a good accessory. It's just not my cup of tea. Thank you, G-Saiten, Ken, and Kazir for joining me as test dummies for this accessory showcase. And thank you, Deborah Weber, for giving me this... Is this a recommendation? Is... Uh, that, that. Completely fucked up my sentence there. Um, a recommendation. Thank you. 
Can't forget to mention Gose and Trace Ace as well. They apparently they recommended it too. I didn't have any comment screenshot of them doing it, but they just told me, yep, do it, do it, and I did it. On the left there is a playlist of all of my previous accessory showcases, and on the right is my most recent accessory showcase, the Ethnic Bolo, which is a prime market accessory. It's pretty decent, but it's not completely out there, but it's not bad. So check it out if you've got the time of day. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Laurie Moon of Luna, signing out.